Hi guys, so this is going to be a getting ready with me video, including my skincare routine, my makeup, my hair, and my outfits. So if you guys wouldn't mind watching, keep on watching if you guys want to see the rest of this video. And please tell all these cars to shut up while I'm trying to film for my people. I will have a whole bunch of links down below where you guys can get the brushes, the makeup, and everything like that. With Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer that doesn't have any parabens, mineral oil, synthetic fragrances, and more things you should avoid putting on your skin, I'm going to evenly distribute this all over my face. Since it's a gel-like formula, it feels really thin on my face and doesn't feel really feel so thick or heavy, so it smells really fresh and citrusy, and I love it. Did I also mention that it has caffeine in it? Yeah, I know. I'm in love with it. Using my Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream, I'm going to be applying this in patting motions around my eyes to brighten and depuff. This product also has caffeine and doesn't have all these harsh chemicals. Now onto my prescribed acne medicine and my rosebud salve all over my lips and I'm good to go. To prevent my makeup from running throughout the day, I'm going to be using Benefits Professional all over my face. With Max Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42, I'm going to be applying this under my eyes to conceal my dark circles as well as any redness around my nose and my forehead because of acne. And using my Sigma F80 brush, I'm going to be packing this in and really blending it out. Onto the BB Cream, I'm going to be mixing Garnier Skin Renew Miracle Skin Perfector in Light Medium and Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream in Medium to perfect my skin's natural shade. I'm using the Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush once again to give my face the most coverage I can get out from the BB Creams. So yeah, I like to blend this around my face and down my neck to create the most flawless and natural finish. Using Urban Decay's Z Slick Setting Spray in this MAC Fix Plus bottle, yeah I know, the pump broke once again and I really don't know why, but eh, whatever. Um, I'm spraying this all around my face and then waiting it to dry before applying my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC40. Benefit Sunbeam, I'm going to be applying this to the tops of my cheek to create the best summer glow that I can and I love this stuff because it's really nice and easy to apply. And using this Maybelline Clear Mascara, I'm going to be taming my ratchet brows. Using Max Bare Steady Paint Pot, I'm going to be applying this all over my lids just to create a nice sheen, especially for the summer and I love cream shadows because they really stay on, especially during the summertime. cream shadows, one in purple and the next one in coffee buzz. I'm going to be using that on the outer parts of my eyes, first building up coffee buzz and then purple to create a little bit more gradient effect and to really deepen up the outer parts of my eye. I love how they're not too deep, especially for the summertime. Using my Urban Decay 24 7 Glam Eye Pencil Number Version, I'm going to be applying this to my waterline and really just tight lining my upper lash line. With NYX's The Curve Liquid Liner, I'm going to be applying this on my lash line, really just creating a small wing, a lot smaller than I usually do. Finishing off, 
off with Oregon's Ginseng Brightening Mascara to lengthen and lift my eyelashes. I'm taking this from the Roots Up, which by the way also doesn't have all these harsh chemicals and stuff in it, followed by my Waterproof Maybelline Volume Express Mascara Lower Lashes. This Origins Mascara is seriously my new favorite mascara and I seriously cannot live without it. It's really thickening and I love it. It keeps a curl and it's really just amazing. I'm going to be using Urban Decay's Super Saturated Lip Color in Naked to give a your lips but better look. For my Milani Fake Blush in Luminoso and the Sigma F40 brush, I'm going to be applying this on the apples of my cheek and blending it up. Setting it all in once again and you are good to go. And now on to the hair. So for my hair, I'm going to be using my Kind Air Infinity Curling Iron, which actually curls your hair when it's slightly damp. I don't usually curl when it's slightly damp, but yeah, so this is what I do. I do have an Everyday Curls um, hair tutorial, so I will link that down below if you guys are interested. But here, for now, I'm just going to be curling about one and a half inch sections um, all around my head um, that I will soon gather around into a ponytail. So I will have that up, but you don't really need to be too perfect with these curls since they will just be um, thrown up. So that's why I'm not really taking too much time. Sexy Hairs Healthy Sexy Hairspray, and I love applying this because it does have some argan oil, yep, mm -hmm. and it actually makes your hair a little bit more healthy. So I really like that, especially for the dry summer heat. And let's tame those flyaways with Big Sexy Hairs Hairspray because it has amazing hold, and this teasing comb because it really helps. Um, yeah, so these are basically my summer essentials, and this is my really easy and simple hair tutorial for the summer. outfit time. If you guys like this video and like kind of videos like these, then please give me a big old thumbs up and that would make my life. Questions, concerns, compliments, <laughs> Ch -ching. just kidding. Um, then please comment down below and I would love to get to any of your questions. And right now I have just been bit by a mosquito and it hurts like hell. I'm surrounded by bugs and I think I might die out here. I never go outdoors. Why would I go outdoors? I make videos in my room. But thumbs up this video if you guys want to see more outdoors videos because I honestly think that it's beautiful out here, especially for the summertime. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'm sorry this screen is probably my whole face. <laughs>